and welcome to this video about the praying mantis. In this video I will show and tell you some things about this interesting insect. So, what is a praying mantis? Most people think they are the same as grasshoppers, but they have actually a lot of differences. The biggest difference is that grasshoppers eat plants and the praying mantis eats every living creature they can handle, but most of the time insects. Another thing is that grasshoppers are born jumpers, but the praying mantis is only able to jump very short distances. Till now there are discovered about 2350 different species of mantis. Most of them occur in the tropics and subtropics. When it comes to catching their prey, the praying mantis will strike with one of the most fastest movements known in insects. When the unlucky insect is caught, it will be devoured alive. The praying mantis lay their eggs in a foam shaped nest. This had a lot of important advantages, like protecting against predators and changes in weather. The foam nest will hatch after a couple of weeks. Small larvae will crawl out of the nest and set for the first time. After their first shed, they will hang in a group to dry and wait to begin their journey. Nymphs will undergo a certain number of sheds before they reach their adult stage. When the nymphs shed their skin, they will leave almost exact a copy of their cell. After this struggle, they hang upside down to dry and rest. It is very amazing how they are able to get out their old skin with such a complex body. When they finally reach their last shed, they will gain long wings. Some species have beautiful colors and some species don't even have wings at all. When the time arrives for mating, the male will search for a female and try to approach her. If the male succeeds to get on top of the female, it will try to mate with her very shortly after. It does happen sometimes that the female will devour the male after they mated, but this happens a lot less than most people think. After a couple of weeks, the female will start laying the eggs in the middle of the foam nest. This will take a few hours depending on the species. When it's finished, it will hatch in a couple of weeks and the female's hunger will again begin to grow. When people think of a praying mantis, they will most likely think about the common green mantis. There are a lot of different species which doesn't even come close to the common green mantis. Some have such an impressive camouflage that you won't even know how to spot them. I hope you enjoyed this video and realized that a praying mantis is more than just an insect.